in this question we have to find the power absorbed by the dependent source. So, you know that the power will be the product of the voltage and the current. So, we have to find the product of the voltage and the current. Now, the current source is 2 V naught. So, it is a dependent current source which is dependent on the voltage and voltage V naught is over here. So, our first task is to calculate the voltage V naught so that we can calculate 2 V naught and then we will calculate the voltage across this one let us say V x. Then the product of this current and voltage will give me the power absorbed by this dependent source. So, let us first calculate the current the voltage V naught. For the calculation of the V naught you can see this voltage V naught is across this 4 ohm resistor as this is plus minus it means the current was flowing in this direction. Now, the current will be voltage upon the resistance let us apply the KCL. As you can see all the currents are incoming towards node and KCL says that the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a point are entering a node must be equal to 0. Therefore, it will be V naught by 4 plus incoming current 10 plus incoming current 2 V naught is equal to 0. Solving this equation you can see V naught is coming equal to minus 4.444 volts. So, this is the value of V naught that we are getting in this equation. Now, it means the current of the dependent source 2 V naught this will be equal to 2 multiplied by minus 4.444 it means it is coming equal to minus 8.888 amperes. So, this is the current of the current source. Now, I need to calculate the value of V naught v, uh, value of V x that is the voltage across this whole current source because current we have already calculated now we need the voltage to get the power. Now, this V x it will be the same voltage across this branch because you can see this branch and this whole branch they are connected in parallel. Therefore, V x will be equal to this if we apply the KV also you can see plus V x minus V naught minus the voltage drop because the same current will be flowing in the upward direction. So, it will be drop plus minus minus the voltage drop across the 6 ohm resistor this will be equal to 0. So, from here you can see V x will be equal to the whole voltage. So, it will be whole resistance 6 plus 4 multiplied by this current that is V naught by 4. Hence, V x V x will be equal to 10 multiplied by V naught that is minus 4.444 divided by resistance 4. Hence, you can see V x is coming as minus 11.111 volts. So, this will be the value of V x across this one. Now, if you see the voltage is also coming as negative, the current is also coming as negative. So, the direction will be reversed although it is not dated but still if we see the directions it will be something like this current 2 V naught is negative it means in the downward direction 8.888 ampere current is flowing. The voltage is minus again the polarities will get reversed it will be minus and this is plus and the value of the voltage is 11.111 volts. Now, you can see the current is entering into the positive terminal it means this dependent source is absorbing the power therefore, power absorbed this will be the product of voltage that is 11.111 multiplied by the current 8.888 hence it is coming as 98.75 watts hence this is the answer and option C is the correct option.